coconut is not a nut. In the world of nature's most curious creations, there exists a humble and versatile food whose very name causes a stir of confusion, the coconut. With the word nut in its name, it would seem obvious to classify it alongside walnuts, almonds, and hazelnuts. But the truth is, the coconut defies such simple categorization. It is not, in fact, a nut. Rather, it is a remarkable fruit with a story that spans continents, cultures, and culinary traditions. This is the tale of the coconut, a food that has perplexed botanists, nourished civilizations, and challenged our understanding of nature's bounty. Our journey begins with an examination of what a nut actually is. In botanical terms, a true nut is a hard-shelled fruit that does not open to release its seed. Classic examples include acorns and chestnuts. They are considered indehiscent, meaning they do not split open at maturity to disperse their seeds. These nuts have a tough outer shell and a single seed inside. The seed is directly surrounded by the hard shell, with no intermediate fleshy layer. This is where the coconut classification begins to diverge. The coconut, despite its hard, woody exterior, does not fit the criteria of a true nut. It is, instead, what botanists call a droop, more specifically, a fibrous, one-seeded droop. A droop is a type of fruit in which a fleshy or fibrous outer layer surrounds a hard shell, or endocarp, which in turn encases a seed. Famous droops include peaches, plums, and cherries, all of which have a fleshy outer part and a hard inner pit containing the seed. But unlike these familiar fruits, the coconut's droop nature is somewhat disguised by its unique structure and uses. The coconut's exterior is comprised of three main layers. The outermost layer, known as the exocarp, is a thin, green or brownish skin that provides a first line of defense. Beneath this lies the mesocarp, which is thick, fibrous, and tough. This fibrous husk is often stripped away before coconuts reach markets outside of their growing regions, leaving only the hard shell that many associate with the coconut itself. The innermost layer is the endocarp, a hard, woody shell that protects the seed within. And inside that, one finds the white, edible meat, or copra, and the nourishing liquid known as coconut water. It is these multiple layers, especially the presence of the fibrous mesocarp, that set the coconut apart from true nuts. So, why is it that the coconut is commonly mistaken for a nut? The confusion can be traced back to its linguistic and cultural history. The word coconut itself is derived from the Portuguese and Spanish word coco, which means head or skull. The explorers who encountered the coconut saw the three indentations on its shell as resembling a human face, hence the name. The suffix nut was simply tacked on, likely due to the coconut's hard outer shell, which resembled that of other nuts. Yet the term has persisted, blending into the common vernacular and clouding the coconut's true botanical identity. The coconut's unusual classification as a fibrous droop rather than a nut does not diminish its importance to the cultures that have cultivated and utilized it for centuries. In fact, the coconut tree, often called the tree of life, has been a source of sustenance, shelter, and even spiritual significance in tropical regions across the globe. In the islands of the Pacific, coconut palms have provided food, water, and raw materials for tools, crafts, and even thatched roofs. In India, coconuts have a sacred role in Hindu rituals, symbolizing prosperity and purity. And in Southeast Asia, they have formed the basis of countless traditional dishes, where the grated flesh, creamy milk, and even the fibrous husk are put to use. But if the coconut is not a nut, is there a more precise way to describe it? The answer lies in the specific category of dry droops. Unlike fleshy droops, such as peaches or cherries, where the mesocarp is soft and juicy, the mesocarp of the coconut is dry and fibrous. This adaptation makes the coconut particularly resilient, allowing it to float across oceans and spread its seeds to distant shores. In fact, the ability of coconuts to travel vast distances by sea has played a crucial role in the dispersal of coconut palms, making them one of the most widely distributed plants in tropical regions around the world. 
the story of the coconut's botanical identity also has an intriguing intersection with food allergies. In terms of nutrition and allergen classification, coconuts are often lumped together with tree nuts, despite being biologically distinct. This categorization occurs because, for some individuals with tree nut allergies, coconut can trigger similar allergic reactions. However, most people who are allergic to tree nuts can safely consume coconut. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration lists coconut as a tree nut for labeling purposes, adding another layer of complexity to the coconut's already confusing classification. Yet, in the world of botany, coconuts remain firmly rooted in their classification as a droop. As we unravel the layers of the coconut's identity, we find that its unique structure is not just a matter of scientific curiosity but also a tale of evolution. The tough husk and buoyant properties of the coconut are evolutionary adaptations that have allowed the species to survive and propagate in challenging environments. Coconuts are equipped to endure long journeys across saltwater, establishing new colonies of coconut palms on remote islands. This tenacity and adaptability have made the coconut not only a botanical wonder, but also a cultural and culinary staple in the societies that have harnessed its many uses. Today, coconuts are celebrated in cuisines worldwide, their versatility stretching from savory curries and soups to sweet confections and refreshing drinks. Coconut oil, coconut milk, desiccated coconut, and coconut water have found their way into kitchens, cosmetics, and health products alike, with each layer of the coconut offering something of value. The global coconut trade has expanded far beyond the tropics, bringing the flavors and benefits of this fascinating droop to homes across the globe. It is a testament to the coconut's enduring appeal, a plant that has managed to transcend its botanical classification to become a symbol of nourishment and resilience. In the end, whether we call it a nut, a droop, or a fruit, the coconut story is one of nature's most fascinating contradictions. It defies easy categorization while embodying the best of what a plant can offer, sustenance, versatility, and a little bit of mystery. As we crack open the shell to enjoy its rich rewards, we do more than savor a delicious treat, we partake in a history and heritage that spans generations and oceans. And so, the coconut remains a marvel of nature, not quite a nut, but something altogether unique. A food that has floated across seas, bridged cultural divides, and weathered botanical debates. Its story is a reminder of the remarkable diversity within our natural world, a diversity that challenges us to look beyond names and classifications to appreciate the true wonders of what lies beneath the surface.